Okay, let's look at the bridge tool. The bridge tool works in all three modes, point, edge, and polygon. A selection is required in polygon mode. Bridging enables you to create connections between unconnected surfaces. Now, what does that mean? Let's take a cube, push it over here, drop another cube in. We're going to take both of these. We're going to make them editable, clicking the button. And we'll first use the bridge mode in point mode. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to my polygon selection tool. I'm going to select this and hit delete on the keyboard. Select this one, hit delete on the keyboard. So we basically have two boxes with an open hole on one side. And what we want to do is we want to connect these, bridge them together with polygons. So the first thing that we need to do is combine these into one piece of geometry because we have two separate cubes right now. So I'm going to select both of these and right click and find connect objects and delete. So that's going to take both cubes and make them one single object. Next, I'm going to come over here and get in my point mode. Then I'm going to right click again and select the bridge command. Now, if I come over here, grab this top point on the left cube, I can drag it over to here. Then I can come down here, grab this one, and you can see it's already starting to make the polygon. So we can see that it has attached it there. Next, I'm going to grab this one. And you can see if you're not careful, it tries to put it on the closest point to it. And we need it to come over here. So that's not a good one. So we'll Control Z or Command Z on a Mac to take that back a step. Let's try it again. You got to watch it. This can be tricky. Grab here and then there. That's one. I'll grab here and then there. And that's two. So now we need to close this top hole. One to two. And one to two. We have the open bottom to finish up. Grab here to here. And here to here. So that's how you use the bridge tool in point mode. Let's go ahead and delete that. Put two more in the scene. Take both of these. C on the keyboard to make them editable. Grab the polygon tool and our live selection tool. We'll delete that one and that one as well. So this time we're going to use our edge tool, or we're going to use the bridge tool in edge mode. I'm going to right click, select bridge. Real important thing I forgot to do, we've got to combine these. So we have the two cubes. Select them both, right click, connect objects and delete. Now we've got one object. Now we can select the edge over here and drag it to the edge there. Edge here, edge there. Let's get in here where we can see it. Take the edge here, the edge there. And last but not least, edge to edge. And there we have created our new polygons and bridged that together. Okay, one more time. Two more cubes in the scene. This time we're going to look at this in polygon mode. It's a little bit different this way. So I'll take both of these, hit C on the keyboard, make them editable, and then I'm going to select them and connect objects and delete. Now, what you have to do in polygon mode is you have to make selections before you use the bridge tool. So I'm going to select this polygon face. Hold Shift down and select this polygon face. Now that we have both of these faces selected, I'm going to choose the Bridge tool. Right click, Bridge, and just go from here to there. And there it is. So that's the Bridge tool, another powerful feature found in the modeling tools here in Cinema 4D.